Hi, uh, here are a couple tricks that you can do with your projector. Um, these sort of came up in a brainstorm. Uh, one of my friends is doing a project where he uh, he's trying to theatricalize uh, what it means to be an avatar or have an avatar on stage or something like that. Or at least that's how I interpret his project. Uh, at any rate, <clears throat> there are a lot of things you can do just with a projector uh, without having a lot of uh, crazy ass technology on top of it. And uh, here are a few of those simple examples. I'm going to be showing you three of them. Uh, first, I'm going to take you through uh, an animation of uh, a 3D object sort of walking off into space, walking towards the, the, uh, the projector. Um, and I'll explain that as I go along. And I'm going to be showing you two Microsoft Windows screensavers. These screensavers are just any standard old raggedy ass screensavers. One of them is a 3D image, and one of them is just the, the scrolling marquee, which uh, has, I mean, in and of itself is not so novel, but some of the applications, you can play around with them. And then lastly, uh, I'm going to be projecting my face onto my face, which lends for some really weird theatrical uh, effects, including talking while not actually talking. Now, the first thing is this penguin right here, and what's I got this from Animation Factory. It is just a simple piece of clip art, a penguin walking forward in space. Um, I can't really get this. All right, and what I'm going to do, just sort of push this penguin into our space. Ready? Yep. So the idea is that he's walking around. Um, one usable way, I mean you can do this with, um, you can take a video of somebody walking around in space and then you can have a flat push around, push them around on stage so that it looks like they're actually on stage. Um, and then if you had the video actually move the guy this way, you could have the penguin move around in any sort of location. Uh, this isn't restricted to human bodies, this is obviously, here's a penguin, uh, you could use your World of Warcraft avatar, you could use uh, your Second Life avatar, you could build anything uh, that's renderable in 3D and have it move around on stage. If you can orchestrate it well enough, uh, the illusion of something move, moving forward in space is somehow easier to accept than, um, than a projection on top of a moving surface. Here is an application of uh, Windows screensaver. Right now flashing across my eyes is the text that says your text goes here. This really isn't that terribly novel, it's just, um, just projecting a moving image onto a body, which people are already doing, but my contention is that you can make it really precise and have a lot of fun with uh, manipulating that. And the reason I got this idea is I was in a club and there was a, a little laser light that would stream across my body and I was playing around with, um, let's see here if I can get this. And if, right now it's not so dynamic, but uh, you could change where the, uh, where the text goes on your body, or, I mean, you could make it any shape, you could have a shape flying around, whizzing around in your body, um, you could have uh, corresponding shapes flying around on different people on stage at the same time, um, yeah, that's pretty much that one. Not so exciting, but uh, let me show you the implications on a 3D scale. Uh, here is a projection of the 3D flower box. It comes packaged in Microsoft Windows, if you seen this. Uh, and it's a pretty simple projection. But it does seem to inhabit the space. I can 
way around over here. Thank you. 